Good morning. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Becca. I'm a rising junior at Boston University, and I've been coming to Trinity for as long as I can remember. But in all honesty, it wasn't really until I got to college that I found my faith and came to know Christ for myself. And that's not to say anything against this church or my family or anyone else. It truly was just a me problem. My heart wasn't in the right place. I came to church every Sunday. I went to youth group as a kid. I went on the Mexico mission trip every spring break in high school. I even helped people sometimes and was sometimes nice. By most of the world's standards, I was doing a lot of things that a good Christian would do. When I left for college, I wasn't planning on getting involved with a local church or joining a campus ministry. At that point in my life, my faith was extremely passive, and although I knew a decent amount about God and about Christianity, I didn't know God for myself, and I didn't understand how the almighty creator of the universe could possibly affect me on such a personal level. Little did I know that God had a plan, and after pretty much accidentally joining a campus ministry called The Navigators, I started getting discipled, doing scripture memory, getting involved with NAV student leadership, and before I knew it, I was celebrating my rebaptism this past April. The best way I can think to describe it is that God took my life and completely flipped it upside down and inside out. My perspectives of practically everything, God, the world, other people, and myself, all radically changed for the better, and I distinctly remember a solid week where I literally couldn't stop smiling for no reason. These past two-ish years have been absolutely mind-blowing and crazy and incredible, and it has been so cool to see how just by opening my heart and letting God in, he has transformed and continues to transform my life every day. Now, in terms of calling, I can't say for certain what God has called me to career-wise. I feel way too young and inexperienced to know that. But I will say that particularly over the past semester, God has taught me so much about who he is who I am in Christ, and what that all means for me as an individual part of the body of Christ. In short, God calls me upward and outward, upward towards him and outward towards others. James 1 talks about the importance of not just being listeners or hearers, but being doers. James 2 talks about how faith without works is dead. We're also called to go and do likewise when Jesus talks about the Good Samaritan in Luke 10, to go and make disciples of all nations in Matthew 28, and to love others just as Jesus loved us in John 13, just to name a few examples. But doing good deeds and being selfless and living like Jesus did all the time is hard. As an introvert, even just talking to people outside my friend group is seriously draining. But that's where the upward calling comes in. My upward calling is towards God, as I'm called to pursue him every day just as he has never failed to desperately pursue me no matter how many times I have or will fail him. When I started getting more involved with NAVS, building strong Christian community, and intentionally walking with Christ on a day-to-day -day basis, all of a sudden it became so much easier and less tiresome to serve others, even just in small ways, and to persevere through the dramatic ups and downs of college life. The truth of the matter is that we're all fallen people. On our own, it's impossible to love and serve others the way God loves and serves us. But when I started listening to my upward calling and actively pursued a relationship with my Heavenly Father, I was then able to carry out my outward calling and love those around me. It's only through that reliance and relationship with God that I'm able to fully love others the way Jesus commands me to without completely draining myself in the process. I like to think of it this way. Imagine I was trying to give out glasses of water to people on the street, but all I had was my own personal cooler. Eventually, I'd run out of water. I'd then have to start the long process of lugging the cooler back home, refilling it, and getting myself a drink of water before I'd be able to start giving out water again. But if I let God into the picture, he's right there with me, constantly filling up my cooler for me so that I not only have enough water for myself, but I also have an endless flow of water to give to everyone around me. On my own, I quickly run dry. But with God, I have a never-ending source of water freely given to me so I can freely give to everyone else. I used to think that being called outward meant being the best evangelist there ever was, volunteering at nonprofits 24-7 and sharing the gospel with everyone I passed on the street. 
Needless to say, the word evangelism really freaked me out. The worst part was that the more I got to know God, the more I wanted to talk about his love in the gospel. But I was so terrified of the word evangelism and the negative connotation typically associated with it to really do anything. On top of that, life is busy, and it's hard to make time to volunteer and do service projects, let alone stop and have meaningful conversations with people about Jesus. But then I realized that evangelizing and fulfilling my outward calling can be as simple as striving to live more and more like Jesus every day and to live in a way that draws people closer to God. My favorite verse in the Bible is Colossians 3.17. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. For me, this verse changed a lot. It inspires me every day to live in a way that reflects God's love and glorifies him in everything I do, from going on mission trips, to genuinely smiling at the homeless man on the street, to dealing with crazy kids all day at the summer camp I work at. Evangelism doesn't always have to mean going out of your way to work with nonprofits and Christian ministries, while that isn't ever a bad thing to do. But it can also mean just continuing to live your normal life while prayerfully and intentionally living like Jesus. You see, once I opened my heart and started to earnestly seek a personal relationship with God, everything changed. All of a sudden, being Christian wasn't just a label that I associated with. It was truly who I wanted to be. The more I get to know God, the more I love Him. And the more I love Him, the more I'm able to love others. God calls me upward in relationship with Him, and it's through that upward relationship that I'm able to fulfill my outward calling to live a life that glorifies God through all I say or do. Thank you.